Let's create a custom class to handle our PD files. I'll hold down Command and N in Xcode to bring up the new file dialog, and double tap Coco Touch class. Now I'll give it the name PD Patch. It'll be a subclass of NS Object, and it will be in the language of Objective C. We'll choose Next. Now I'll make sure I store this file within the root of my Xcode project, which is my PD project, and everything else looks good to go. I'll choose Create. With the file created, let me reorganize it here at the left, and that's just a visual organization. Now it's time to create an initializer for our class. I'll go into pdpatch.h, and the first thing I need to do is I need to import PD Dispatcher. Now I'll create a public method that will allow me to initialize my patch. So in pdpatch.h, I'll place the cursor within the interface portion and type dash, open parentheses, instance type. I'll let the autocomplete do its magic. Init with file, colon. And we're going to pass a string as an argument, which is the name of the file. So open and close parentheses, and a string in the parentheses, and a star, and then pd file, representative of the string that we'll pass into this particular method. Now we should get a warning from the compiler that we haven't yet implemented this method, and there it is. We won't worry about that now because we're going to implement it. So within the implementation, create some new lines, dash, open the parentheses, instance type, and we'll let the autocomplete complete, then init, and again, use the autocomplete. And so we want init with file, open and close those curly brackets. Now, because we've specified a return type, we're getting an error that we haven't yet returned anything within this method. And we'll do that here. Self equals, open and close brackets, and a semicolon, within the brackets, super init. So we're initializing self, which is really the class, by first calling init from the super class, which is NS object. Now, after this, we're going to test to make sure that there is something in self, if self, then open and close the brackets and we'll put the init code here. Now I'm making a note here because we're gonna go outside of the condition and then return self. And now that we've returned self, we've satisfied the compiler, it'll stop telling us that there is an error. But we still got a little bit more work to do because we have to actually initialize our patch. To do this, we'll create a variable just before self equals super init and type void star patch. Now within the init code part, let me delete that. And then type patch equals, open and close brackets, then PD base, and this is the super class, PD base, which comes with the PD dispatcher, open file, and we'll let it autocomplete. And we're going to open PD file. And the path will be one set of brackets, and then leave the cursor within another set of brackets, NS bundle space, main bundle, then we'll move the cursor outside of that first bracket, and it will be resource path. That's basically the way within Objective-C that we get to this root folder here. And this root folder is just readable. So later on, if you tried to write to it, you'd actually crash your application. So main PD is within the root folder, the resource folder. Head back to patch, uh, pdpatch.m. And then we need to test to make sure the patch is loaded. So if and there isn't a patch, that is, it hasn't loaded, we're going to create an alert view to pop up and show the user, hey, look, we tried to load it and it just didn't happen. So to do this, I'll go back to pdpatch.h and I'm going to import UIKit because we're going to do this programmatically. Now go back to pdpatch.m. And so I'll create UI alert view and we'll call it alert and we'll initialize it. So UI alert view alloc. And then this is a really long method signature init. And we want the bottom one with title, message, delegate, cancel, etc. And so at sign and two quotes, the title will be uh oh. And the message will be at sign two quotes, PD 
patch not found. The delegate will be self and the cancel button title. Let's see, I'm feeling especially whimsical. Let's do at sign, two quotes and crap. Then finally, there are no other buttons, so nil for that. Okay, we've created the alert, but now we need to show it. So on the next line, open your brackets and close it. Then within that, alert space show. Okay, so if there isn't a patch, if for some reason it didn't load, we're gonna see this particular uh, alert show. Save it, there are no errors. Just to be safe, let's render it. So we will run it and it runs and we see the simulator pop up. Now we haven't actually loaded the patch yet. That's the next thing to do.